Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. We have a list of three properties, very short list. So hang in there. I think there's still some good information to talk about, including one of our favorite single car garage detached floor plans. First one up, Ashbrook Court, a uh, very quiet court just off of uh, Oak Street. It's, I, I mean, it's one of those uh, streets that's gentrifying. Like this is a great, there's a little cul-de-sac, a little round area. Uh, at the end of the street and great for kids hockey and you know riding bikes and everything else uh, like most of old Milton it's gentrifying so we're starting to see some of the older residents that are, are moving out and young families are moving in so that's definitely the target audience here it says uh, 60 by 105 here but then in the description it says 69 by 120 foot lot so I don't know if that's the other two dimensions it looks like it may pie out a bit in the back inside the home you're going to notice these covered they look like uh, electric baseboards but if you read the description it says gas slash water so it could be water lines like a radiant heat that's uh, that's heated by gas down in the basement but what it also means is that you don't necessarily have a central forced air system. So where's the shot here? There it is there. So you've got window unit air conditioners. And so uh, that can be a bit of a downside, not having the central air conditioning. And I wonder how that would impact these guys based on the fact that it's really hot outside right now. I mean, showings are sensory experiences with your eyes and you know your smell you don't really taste homes but you feel them you use your hands and use obviously your uh your temperature sensors to um to to figure out how you feel about a house so hopefully it's a decent temperature there are ways of getting around not having central air uh, but four bedrooms on on one floor is definitely a handy thing to have uh, there's opportunity probably to build up above the garage uh, for future expansion and it just seems like it's in pretty good shape. So it's, uh, anyway, I, I, the price is good. It's basically land value at this price. So the next one up is 254 Cochrane. And I pulled this plan up first before we look at the house. And it's a plan four corner in the 34 foot series. Uh, most of the detached homes now are being built on 30 foot lots. So they feel very narrow. Uh, it's funny, this one feel, felt narrow for a while until we saw the 30s couple different elevations here and what I like about this one is that there's a lot of different options so if you look at the standard plan pretty good size front porch and so you could have a couple chairs out here too. come inside the house you've got a closet right there a lot of times the closet ends up being put somewhere further into the house which is a little bit annoying so you can take your guest coat you can put it right in the closet uh, and then you've got this parlor area. The three uses that I see this uh, for is number one, a kid's playroom. Perfect. Close the door, make a mess, nothing to worry about. Second thing, home office. Very useful as a home office. And the third one is just a traditional living room, but a very quiet area where you could just go read a book, maybe not even have a TV in there. All of which I think are relevant to today's consumer. So anyway, Get into the house here, you've got a dining room, great room, breakfast, kitchen, and so they, they work well with the space that they have. There's a walk-in pantry in this elevation. There's also another version where you can actually have like a chef's kitchen, so there's an island, and then you delete this breakfast bar here too, so it kind of opens up the flow between this space. We've seen a, some people, not on, uh, not on this particular home, but we've seen where they just, they delete the tiles here and it becomes one massive room. There's a walkout patio door, uh, decent light in all the rooms too. It's just a really functional space. And uh, the other thing a lot of times is that you've got this, if you've got a good landing here, that's a direct access from the garage, which can bode well for a separate entrance for a home. Upstairs, there's all kinds of configurations. There's a master with two other rooms there's a four bedroom elevation. There's a, a three bedroom plus, uh, excuse me, a loft space. You've got laundry upstairs or it can be downstairs. The ensuite can be a, uh, you know, with a soaker tub and shower. It can be combined like this one. 
you can pretty much do anything with this space. And, and so if you look at all the different uh, curved, well, they did the curved arch package here. Um, den in lieu of parlor. I don't know what that means because it's basically the same space. But uh, finished door to garage. We've got a uh, fireplace. There's the chef's kitchen. Bath oasis, four bedroom plan. So just really nice options available. Let's talk about the house, all right? 619, good price. We've seen this floor plan, uh, some of them not, I mean, this one's not as upgraded as those, but they've gone up to $700,000. Some some not so good versions of this size of home and BD coats, we've seen them sell for uh, high sixes. So I definitely think they're competitively priced. I believe it's an eight foot ceiling. There's your front parlor and then you've got your uh, front door coming through here dining room space uh, and then you've got your family room with a fireplace and then also your kitchen they have done the arches the lights underneath uh, corner glass cabinet they've got a pantry in the corner here which you'll see in another view but that's how open it is so you're sitting in the kitchen you can have a nice conversation over here in the family room you can see what's going on in the dining room just has a nice configuration of space and surprise kids playroom is what that front parlor is used for there's the pantry there uh, very useful space that you usually don't see in this size of home and they've got the three bedrooms with the extended ensuite double sinks nice thing to have and so just smart upgrade choices looks clean tidy there's it looks like a two-tiered deck the thing about this deck is it's so high up, it's almost at fence level. You're not gonna feel extremely private here. I like when the stairs go down and the deck is basically at ground level. I find that that just gives uh, a little bit more of a sense of privacy and it looks like there may even be on this side here, maybe something like a dog run. It's hard to tell from the picture and you might even have a little bit of a clear view over on this side. 619, heck of a price for this home. And you can see in the description here is that they're taking offers August 17th at 7 p.m. So good chance it'll go for more. Now, one of the things you're not going to see on this report, but you'll see it up at the top part is, is a sold conditional SC designation. And so 1987 square feet, it's a Southbury model, uh, like the floor plan. Uh, looks like the finishes are good and at 640 someone basically walked in and scooped it really really quick so you can see right here last sold condition new basically means it's the same price as when it was new on the market but because we profile stuff that's brand new on the market on daily homes it is a new listing there can also be pc which is price change and we normally don't talk about those on daily homes and then you have a home like this that was new but then it sold so quick that it was sold conditional that's the list for today. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you again with more Melts Daily Homes tomorrow.